Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create resupply lockers in Team Fortress 2. A resupply locker in Team Fortress 2 is a cabinet which is in spawn areas or spawn rooms where if you're low on health or if you're low on ammo you can go back in, walk near it and it will give you full ammo and full health again. So it's, re it's really important in both competitive and public TF2 gameplay so I'll teach you how to make one. First of all we're going to make the actual physical locker um, that you see in game. So to do that you need to make an entity in your map. So click on your entity tool, click on your map and then go into the object properties. You can do this by double clicking on the 3D view or right clicking and going to properties on the 2D view. Once you're in there you need to change the class to a prop dynamic. So click prop dynamic, go to apply and once you're in there change its world model to search for locker and you need to change it to a props gameplay backslash resupply locker dot mdl go to ok and click apply um, once that's in your map give it a name something like because it's near the blue area here I'm going to name it blue uh, resupply and because it's the first one we made I'm going to call it one click apply again and then go to cancel line it up with your wall so rotate it around until you get it aligned with your wall and then put it in place once you're happy with it yeah that's good um, click off it and that will be your locker now we need to make the trigger so when you walk near it it opens and gives you your free health and and your free ammo. So to do that, you, we need to make a tools trigger, a trigger texture. So go to browse and type in the filter tools trigger. An orange box with trigger would, should come up and just double click on that. Click on your brush tool and using all of the grid views, um, create a brush around your resupply locker. I usually make it about it's usually about two squares of the 16 grid view, the 16 size, so just roughly make it two squares wide and two squares long, align it with the floor and make it about as high as the locker itself. You don't want to make it too big or you don't want to make it going through a wall because if your walls are really thin and you have a and you have gameplay going on behind it they can some sometimes if it goes through your wall they can resupply through the wall and you don't want that so make it to your wall line and that'll be okay so just roughly make it about 16 wide, uh, 32 wide and 32 from the front of the locker click enter so you apply the texture around it and now with that tools trigger selected press ctrl and t to bring up the uh, object properties for the, to the tools trigger texture and we need to change it to a funk a funk regenerate click apply so change its class to funk regenerate click apply and give it a name uh, call it um, locker regen 1 or locker blue region 1 or something, something that you remember it by um, because it's near the blue area um, it'll be only for blue so you can change the team key value to red, blue or any any means anyone can use that locker red means only red can use it and blue means only blue can use it so click apply, I'm going to give it to blue because it's near the blue area um, if you're making a fun map you can choose whatever you want to but it's really up to you um, start disabled no because you don't want it disabled on the start the associated model this means basically what model is this trigger going to open um, so what model is this trigger going to activate when you walk into it so you want it to be your resupply locker so um, so go to blue resupply one which was the name of your locker model and go to apply and that is it you have made one working blue um, resupply locker. So that's it for the tutorial. Um, so if you want to make a red one, I'm going to cheat. You can 
follow this tutorial again and just change it to red or you can I'm just gonna highlight the model and the trigger texture copy it go over to my red side paste it in and align it up and then rotate it 180 degrees so it faces the right way double click on your trigger texture change it to locker red regen 1 so it'll be blue at the moment so locker red regen 1 change the team to red associated model you need to go into the model now the actual model here change its name to red resupply 1 apply that and cancel now change the trigger texture again so the associated model is red resupply 1 go to apply and cancel and that is two working resupply lockers for each team so when you're in game which I'll show you in a second only red can uh, activate that one and only blue can activate that one so I'll show you a quick demo in game and that's it for the tutorial as you can see when you start on the blue team you can walk into the locker and it opens and uh, when you start shooting um, and your ammo goes down you can also replenish your your ammo by walking into the locker so you can see it works and when you also go over to the red locker while you're on the blue team it doesn't open when you walk into it so it just goes to show that the map does, um, the tutorial does work now onto the red team, uh, like before you can shoot your bullets and when you walk into the red locker it does open also when you turn around and go to the blue locker it doesn't open as well so so that's very very good um, what I will do is upload the tutorial VMF and that will be in the details down the side of the YouTube video and I hope you enjoy your mapping and all the best